previously on Jeep. How do you fancy having dinner with me, Gav, and a gorgeous Spanish football player? What's the catch? Gavin's worried that he might want to leave Harchester. I've decided to go to Valencia after all, with Silver. Silver? This isn't what we agreed on. I'm going to have to tell Miguel all about our little plan. What the hell are you doing? All I need to do is press send, and Cindy will know. Gemma? Oh, God. Amy, it's Liam. You need to get the gap at the hospital now. It's bad. Look, it's Gemma and it's bad. Careful. What are you doing here? It's you. It wasn't your fault. What? It's not your fault I'm still in a coma. Don't say that. It's okay, don't worry. But you must be okay, you're awake. Has anyone else been here? Have they been asleep? I'm going to have to start charging you bed and breakfast. Thanks. Oh, Gavin. What are you doing here so early? Are you not going to training? Just, um, wondered if you want to lift in. Sure. Hello, Gavin. Silver. Has Miguel told you the good news? I was going to tell you a training, but uh, Valencia have upped their bid. And Harchester have accepted. Congratulations. Cindy around today. Thought me and her could go shopping. I've got a whole new Spanish wardrobe to buy. I don't know. Hmm. I'll have to give her a ring. Yes. Hey. I thought I might want to have a chat about the Liverpool game. Right. I think me and Steve have got it covered. Okay, well, anything I can do, eh? What's going on with Miguel? He's out of Liverpool, eh? Oh, is he injured? What's the problem? Miguel? It's nothing for you to worry about, Liam. Just go and get warmed up. Okay. Done. What's going on with Miguel? I mean, you heard. Valencia got up to 80 million. We won't be training us anymore. We'll be wrapping him in cotton wool. No wonder the gaffer's on edge. Do you think we can beat Liverpool without him? Doesn't look like we've got a choice. Danny, just turn my ankle. Sorry, mate. Get him inside and get it looked at. Rest of you lot, crack on. Some girls really going there. 
paid us enough or we couldn't refuse. Yeah, but you want to sell them? You promised money to spend on new players. Look, Jimmy, what? I don't think it's anything too serious, Gaffer, but I'll get it scanned just to make sure. I might have to miss the cup game, Gaff. Didn't look that bad. Why don't we just leave it to the professionals, eh? Right. I should be getting back, really. I'm trying to persuade Gavin to join us for a moment, but he's determined to go home. Spoiled sport. If I'd have known you were coming, I'd have forced Cindy to come shopping with me. She wimped out. Oh, why don't I call her? No. She's gone to see her mum, said she'd be all afternoon. Maybe I will have a quick drink. What's everyone having? Champagne. Oi, Sally, you give me a lift, mate, or what? Just give us two seconds. Did the right thing. Why do I feel so bad then, eh? Fulham's still on, but you can't afford to be cup tied. We don't want anything threatening to do at this late stage. Keys. Good one. Keys. I think I'm doing. You were just on a physio's table ruling yourself out of the Liverpool game, yet you're able to sprint 25 yards after your car? It's Fulham, isn't it? Yeah. Look, this is probably my last chance to get a move out of here. And I've got to do what's right by me, haven't I? God, I'm not getting any younger. What about Lottery at Harchester? I mean, what about the gaffer? <sighs> what about him? You've seen how he treats me. Oh, when he needs me, I'm in. It's obvious I'm not part of his plans. I just want to make a fresh start. You know what me and Amy have been through. Come on, you must understand that. If you don't want to play, at least be honest with the gaffer. He's got nothing to play at the minute where you like him. Two to three weeks, both deals will be complete, and we can move to the next one. <laughs> Miguel and Sully. Who's got to drop out next, Tony? Would you excuse me a moment, gentlemen? What are you plan? I'm trying to make sure we can put out a decent team against Liverpool. I know you got Danny to fake an injury, and I know you're the reason that Miguel isn't playing. Oh, you got the wrong man. There's no way Terry Harrison would allow Miguel to play a week before his medical. His move is worth too much money to Archester. And too much to you, too. Not the same as Sully, is it? I'm sorry, but I fail to see what any of this has to do with you. Why are you even getting involved? I'm the captain of this football team. So? Since when did the captain have any say in the transfer dealings of a football club? Somebody's got to do something. You're ruining our chance of an FA Cup run. <laughs> I'm just doing my job. Shouldn't be like this. But don't be so naive, Liam. Football is a business. Before you start acting all high and mighty, you should remember you earn a good living from this game. Do you really want to change all that? If I were you, I'd stop sticking my nose in where it's not wanted. Come on, you two. One for the album. After all, soon be your last chance. She's always taking photos. Aww. That's lovely. I'll have to send it to Cindy. Excuse me, can we have another bottle of this, please? Are you trying to get me drunk? I just want to propose a toast to Gavin and Silver for being my best premiership friend. I shall be sad to leave you. And to you for being my new best Spanish friend. I can't wait for all the fun we're going to have together. Oh, God, sorry. Are you all right? Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Excuse 
Silver. Give it back. I don't know what you're talking about. When are you going to learn, Gavin? You really shouldn't do anything to annoy me. And stealing my phone? That was annoying. Why are you doing this to me? Because you thought you could use me. Mistake. I deleted your picture. Oh no, you've ruined everything. You really didn't think there was just one copy. I'll get rid of your phone then. Do what you like with it. There's plenty more where that came from. And that's the thing about the internet, isn't it? It's so convenient. Sin, where's the laptop? All right, babe. Yeah. Listen, there's something I need to look up on the internet. Can I...? Careful. What's so urgent? Um, there's that hotel in Bermuda. They've got the site up now. Ooh, lovely. Let's have a look. See you that is, will ya? Hiya, Gavin. You nipped off pretty sharpish. Oh, excellent. I can show you that site, Sind. I'll oh, still look at that, actually, Silver. What is wrong with you today? You're really jumpy. Oh, is this what you wanted to show me? This is only the beginning. If only the real silver was as easy to delete. Look, you made your point. I promise I won't do anything to stop you and Miguel going to Spain. I wish I could believe you, but you keep trying to stop me. I mean it. Just leave me and Cindy alone. I want to leave you alone, Gav. Believe me. But you've made that impossible to do now. What are you talking about? Well, before I go to Spain with Miguel, I'm going to make sure that Cindy knows all about you and me. Nothing happened between you and me. We know that. But what about Cindy? I mean, where is she now? Sitting downstairs? While you and me are up here, in the bedroom, again. Get off. Boy, did you ever pick the wrong girl to take on. You won't know when it's going to happen, or where. But rest assured, Gav, it'll happen. I will ruin you. You know, there is a real connection between them two. Yeah. Come on, Miguel's a lot happier. He's a lot more relaxed. And he's off to Valencia. Look, I know this hasn't worked out exactly how we planned, but... Come on, you can't deny it. They are in love with each other. None of us saw that one coming. Especially Silver. I mean, I've never seen her this happy before. It's like she's finally found someone who actually gets her. Good for her. Gavin, what is your problem? Gavin? I just... I don't think any of us get Silver. Listen, there's something about her. What? Oh. Speak of the devil. What has she done? She sent me a picture. Oh, of you and Miguel. <laughs> so sweet. Mwah. Night, night, baby. My bag. It's by the chair. My bag? Uh, I'm sorry, I... Uh, I shouldn't be so forgetful. No, I mean, I shouldn't be here. The nurse has told me you've been visiting. From what they say, you've been here more than my husband. Have you told him I've been coming? No, I I'm sure he wouldn't mind. Please don't tell him. Why not? He's got a lot on his plate at the moment. I just... I'd rather he didn't know anything about it. If that's what you want. Please. 
I should go now. Get some sleep. Liam, it is okay to be here. Thanks. Liam. <laughs> After you left training yesterday, do you want to tell me where you went? The first thing I had to do this morning was take an anxious call from the chairman. He's worried that you've put Miguel's transfer in jeopardy. What? Because when people burst into meetings with agents and their representatives shouting their mouths off, everyone gets very nervous. Especially when there's 18 million quid riding on it. I don't think we should be selling Miguel. Oh, okay. I'll just get Terry Harrison on the phone then, shall I? Maybe you can explain to him why he doesn't need the 18 million. It's not just Miguel, is it? Tony Franks has convinced Sully to pull out the game as well. He's not even injured. You think I was born yesterday? I was a player once. If you know he's faking, then you should force him to play. How? By holding a gun to his head? If Sully wants out, that's his decision. Some things are out of my control. Look, I just thought, don't think. Play football and let me manage this club. Okay. And stop interfering with things that are none of your business. I wanted to help you. Try to make things right. Or you can't. Liverpool won't wait for us to get up to speed. If we stick tight and do our jobs, they won't run us ragged in midfield. We've got enough ability in this team to cause some real problems. Come together. Hey, Gav. Hey. Just because your boyfriend's leaving doesn't mean you've got your pieces. Liam! What? How many more times? Just leave it alone. Hey. Everything okay back there? Yeah, fine. Everyone has off days, you know. Even I had one. Well, it was a long time ago. Hey! Gavin! <laughs> Hi, boys. Come on, Steve. we got to go. Hmm? Now. What? Something's wrong with Gavin. Oh, he's probably just feeling sorry for himself because you're leaving. Why don't I try and think of a way to cheer him up? Oh. If you're going to be in a bad mood all afternoon, then I'm going out. Look, I'm fine, all right. I might go and put my head down for a bit, though. If you're going up to listen to those Mozart CDs again, then I'm definitely going out. Silver. Yeah. No, he's here too. No, I can do that. Okay, bye. What was that about? Never you mind. Thought you were going upstairs anyway. I think I'll just keep you company now instead. to know she hasn't just had to listen to my voice going on and on every day. Yeah, unless they suggested I played some music. Please, don't stop. It's hard not to feel helpless, isn't it? Yeah. They said I should talk to her. You know, because she might be able to hear in that, but... I just said, yeah. <laughs> I never know what 
what to say. You're doing what you can, Liam. Yeah. But it's not enough. I've already told you he just wants to discuss the Moody brand. He's obviously got some ideas that he wants to run by us. Why would Tony call you and not me? Um, Gavin, if Tony has plans for us as a package, then why wouldn't he call me? Yeah, I suppose so. Come on. Let's see what's going on. Where's Tony? Now, Gavin, you mustn't be angry, but I've been very naughty. Everyone loves surprises, don't they? And I know you're having a rough time, so I thought you deserved a treat. Only juice for you. You need to be on top form for your match tomorrow. This is just my way of saying thank you. I mean, if it wasn't for you, me and Miguel wouldn't even be here tonight. So, to a lovely evening. So you get into space, you look up, and the other guy's there. Absolutely. Just where you hoped he would be. And that's when it's really working, right, Gavin? Uh, yeah. Like mind reading or something. It's a bit like couples, isn't it? I mean, I bet you always know what Gav's thinking, don't you, Sind? Mm. <laughs> I've known these two on and off for ages, from when Gavin was just a youth teamer. And the thing is, they've had their ups and downs. Silver, this is embarrassing. No. I thought you were going to say something nice about me then. Carry on. You're British, you're so reserved, so tightly shut. All I wanted to say is you two have a wonderful marriage. And why shouldn't you shout about it? We're very lucky to have what we have together. Long may it last. Okay, I'm getting tonight. <clears throat> what be a moment? Lost your appetite this evening, Gavin. Are you mad? When's this gonna be over? I'm not gonna tell Cindy tonight, Gavin. But sometime, somehow, before I disappear, I'll leave you and Cindy with a parting gift. It'll be a surprise. What are you doing here? Get away from her! I can't. Stop interfering with things that are none of your business. I need this. I don't need you. Liam, I really need to talk to you. Please, mate, it's important. If I say anything to Miguel, she'll show Cindy the photo. Who knows what'll happen then? But if I keep quiet, then Miguel could be making a big mistake. Right. If this Silver is as crazy as you say she is... She is. Trust me. Then... you're gonna have to tell Cindy. I've told you, if I tell him... Tell Cindy? Yeah. You're going to have to tell her the truth before Silver gets a chance to tell her lies. But what if she don't believe me? What if she thinks I've been fooling around? You haven't? Of course not. Well, then you're just going to have to hope that she does believe you. Gav, you've got no choice. It's affecting your game. If you go out on that pitch today with us hanging over your head, Benitez is laughing. You have to tell her. Now. You all set, babe? You got everything? Yeah. Listen, Sin. I need to talk to you about something. I'll get it. Gavin! Gav, you've got visitors. Just came to say good luck. Feeling confident? Yes, thanks. I wish I was playing today. Yeah, well, you don't wish you moved to Valencia. Did you still want to tell me something? It's fine. I should be going. You sure? We're all getting a lift up together later. Great. Good luck, Gavin.
Manchester United, proud holders of the FA Cup, begin the defence of their trophy with a very tricky third round tie at Anfield. Hey, you're better than you told her. Yeah. Yeah, you were right. Good. You ready for this, lads? Hey, are we up for this one? Come on then, United! We need brave hearts out there, lads. But we need cool heads. The cop aren't going to give us an easy ride. We need to start strong and get the crowd on their backs, not ours. You lot won this cup last year. And I'll be damned if we're going to give it back to them. All right, let's go. Come on then, boys, you have the man. Field is a sellout for this third round FA Cup tie. Liverpool with the home advantage must start favourites against a less than full strength Harchester side. No Danny Sullivan due to an ankle injury, but the biggest concern for manager Jimmy Cray will be that he's unable to call upon striker Miguel Lopez, who's set for a move to Valencia. Manchester United through Gavin Moody and Darren Tyson will get the match underway and Liverpool will attack the Anfield road end in the first half. Forward by Futcher. Slip there though by Moody. Allows Liverpool to clear comfortably. Start all important here for Harchester. Here's Moody. It's an aimless ball though from Gavin Moody, unnecessary to do that. And he's getting a right earful there from his skipper Liam Mackay. Hand of apology from Moody. Listen to that crowd, he should be enjoying every minute of this. He's playing like he's half asleep. Excellent position here now for Gavin Moody in Harchester. Can he put some accuracy on this? Oh, he can't. And that's the sort of afternoon that Gavin Moody's having so far. Liam Mackay again, absolutely furious with the youngster. Liverpool having the better of it so far. Two league meetings between these uh, clubs finished level last season. Forward now to Bellamy, he's got clear, great save by Alex O'Meara to deny Greg Bellamy. Top class from the Harchester goalkeeper and keeps this third round FA Cup tie goalless. Close to half time, Liverpool corner. Oh, and Cat's in there! The post is Soko, and somehow Harchester have escaped, and there goes the half-time whistle. And Harchester have been frankly outplayed in this opening 45 minutes. Nil-nil at the break. Hey, who's that? You didn't tell her, did you? You didn't tell her. So you're lying to her, now you're lying to me too. Liam, you just want this move. I said I won't call them heads. Look at me. You've got a problem in this area. No, no problem, Gaffer. Liam. Never mind that pitch, not ten. Now get it together. Harchester, the FA Cup holders, need a big improvement in the second half here at Anfield if they're to go any further in this season's competition. Jimmy Craig knows they're lucky still to be on level terms. Here's Gavi Moody. He's given the ball away again. He really has gifted Liverpool possession on a number of occasions here. Moody once again can't take control. And Liverpool come forward in numbers here. Harchester a little bit stretched. And that was a poor touch from Couch. Look at Mackay and Moody at each other again in the early moments of the second half. Real concern for the manager. Come forward by Fucha. Sidney Hoopier under that one though. Goes a stern challenge and Liam Mackay has gone down heavily there and he reacts angrily to the challenge. And Liam Mackay, the Harchester skipper, has been booked for descent by the referee and he's clearly very wound up there. Jimmy Craig already getting Durant Thomas ready from the bench. Now, is he going to bring Mackay off? I think he is. Yes, he is. 
He's worried about Liam Mackay and his attitude to this cup tie and clearly concerned that his captain was heading for a red card. And on in his place comes Durant Thomas. Liverpool remain dominant. Here's Luis Garcia. Flick through to Jack Cowd. Appeals for offside. Cowd scores though. And Liverpool lead by a goal to nil. But no, the offside flag is against Liverpool. A big let off for Harchester. Rafa Benitez can't believe that decision. But was Dirk Cowd offside? The assistant referee clearly saw something. Steven Gerrard was the player who moved offside. But he wasn't interfering. And a huge relief for Harchester. Very little time left now. Blow your whistle, referee, come on. One last chance maybe for Liverpool to win the tie. In by Gerrard. Harchester still with some work to do here. On by Couch. There's a real chance here. And appeals for a penalty. More from the cop than Liverpool players. But it doesn't matter. The full-time whistle has gone. And Harchester United so lucky still to be in the FA Cup. The holders rode their luck and it's finished goalless at Anfield. We lost, haven't we? Nil nil, mate. Just like goal. Well, lads. We didn't win. And we live to fight another day. something you seemed a bit tired out there today let's not talk about it eh oh. what's that it's a present from silver i thought we could open it when we... gavin to cindy a parting gift all my love silver i know what this is well let me open it all fine gavin what's going on gavin I knew there was something going on between you two. There's nothing going on. She's mental, Sin. You've got to believe me. She set me up. I'm not blind, Gavin. I've seen the way you two look at each other. But you've got some little secret. God, I've been so stupid. I don't believe this is happening. How long has this been going on for? At least have the decency to tell me that. Babe, I'd never do anything to hurt you. Well, you have. She's been playing games, trying to blackmail me. This parting gift, is that photo I'm sure of it. Silver wanted this to happen. and soak some more. Like he didn't do enough of it on the coach, just what the team needed. I've been trying to get this team to function for you. I don't need you to do anything for me. No, because you don't need anyone's help, do you? Your mind's totally in the job, isn't it? It's not like you've got anything else to worry about at the minute. I am in total control of what I'm doing. Liar. Would you call me? I don't even know what you're doing here. You should mind my own business. Yeah. This is my business. Why? Because you put her there. Now go on. See it. I don't know what happened. See it. If you think what happened out there was my fault, then just say it. I don't even know why that was. Say it. Yeah. I blame you. All right? I blame you for this. Of course I do. For putting my baby there, yes I do. I blame you. Thank you. Get out. 
Listen, do me a favour. You just keep away from my daughter, all right? Jimmy! You just keep away from her. Cindy, please let me in. Look, I'll pack my things if you want me to go. Just, just say something. Cindy? I wanted to apologise for having a go at you today. It's none of my business, so I'm sorry. I just thought, you know, if you told her, then I shouldn't have interfered. It doesn't matter now. Why not? He's told me. Might have known you'd have made him tell the truth. I, I just... Just... I'll leave you two alone. little cow and me a history. You, you mean you believe me? Why are you lying? No. Good. When I think of everything I've done for that fake tan silicone witch! Well, you know what? We're not taking a sitting down, Gavin. Is this a joke? Because it's not very funny. We thought you need to know the truth about her. The truth. You sit there telling me you asked her to go out with me and you talk to me about truth. We were trying to help. I didn't know she was a psycho. You know nothing about her. Um, I do. And what she's done to Gavin. Miguel, it's unbelievable. No. You are liars. Both of you. Oh, come on, mate. I'd only put myself in this situation if I didn't have to. Why would I make this up? I don't know, Gavin. Why would you? Leave. Leave! Now! Hey, we've done the right thing, you know. Have we? You know, you can't stop Liam visiting Gemma. Too late. He's played her music, been by her bedside nearly every night. I don't care. He's been here when you haven't. Meaning? You know I can't get here every night. Why am I being blamed when it was him who put her there? Because it's not his fault. If Liam's to blame, then so are you. What? And so am I. And so are all the doctors and nurses and everyone's to blame. Or maybe the only person to blame is lying in that bed. How can you say that? Because it's true. I haven't got time for this. Jimmy. You can't ignore this, Jimmy. Some of the taxi drivers are around here. Still, I'm sure Spanish cabbies are much more refined. You all right, babe? Yeah. Yeah, I'm just a little tired. I'll just dump this upstairs. Yeah, that's right. I'm calling about the second payment, as per our agreement. 
I think we should meet sooner rather than later. Don't you? Why not tonight? No problem. I'll think up some excuse. Why did you ask Silver to be with me? Did you feel sorry for me? Is that it? Of course not. Then why? We've got a chance of doing something amazing here. At Valencia, you'll just be one of three strikers. I know it was selfish, but... I've never played with anyone like you before. You make me a better player. Make me up my game. I just didn't want you to leave. You shouldn't have done it, Gavin. You shouldn't have done it. I know. Hope to see you again. <laughs> Don't think that's likely. Oh, there's a letter for you. Now, isn't that a pretty picture? You only made one mistake, Debbie Cartwright, and that was thinking that I believe some plastic slapper like you over my Gavin. What are you doing here? Training. That's what you do if you want to win games, no? Here we are again, boys. We got Liverpool again in two days. The only difference is we're going to be fielding Miguel Lopez as striker now that he's not going to Valencia. Yeah. We've been given a second chance, and not many people get those. Saturday was one of those days that just seemed to happen. Given that time again, we'd handle it differently. But there are things that happen that are beyond anyone's control. And nobody, and I mean nobody, is to blame. Accidents. I want you to make Saturday look just like that. An accident. Because we deserve to be here. We're good enough. We're third in the Premiership and we're still in the FA Cup. And that, gentlemen, that is no accident. Let's go. Visiting hours at the hospital are eight to late. I'm sure Jim will appreciate a visit sometime. <clears throat> Last night, um, you said that I make you a better player. But listen, you must remember that you are also a very, very good player, Gavin, okay? Cheers, mate. Yeah. That's your matchmaking skills? They could do a lot of work, yeah? Soon on Dream Team. So this is why your phone was turned off. You have no respect. Jimmy! <laughs> Come on, buddy, let's get you home. Where the hell is I? This party's moving to London! Londres! Let me send for strict boys. Oh, whoa! 
The world may have changed a bit, but Jack hasn't. America is under attack and only one man can make a difference. The brand new sixth day of 24 begins in t uh, with two hours back to back next.